So last month, Jiva Theater Center brought in a special show called How to Catch Creation, written by Christina Anderson, and it's still running until the 20th of this month. The show follows a group of black characters in two timelines in San Francisco in 1966 and 2014. All artists finding their way. Dan Gross has the story. At its core, cast members for How to Catch Creation say it's an exploration of black artists and creativity. Cedric Mays plays Griffin, an innocent man who had just served 25 years in prison, and talks about his role as well as the other characters. His form of creation is how do I create a family? Libya's character, Tammy, she's an uh, artist, visual artist as well. She also is the chair of the art department at a university or conservatory. Stokes is a, um, a visual artist turned author. Uh, how does he create? While the two timelines in 1996 and 2014 are mostly separate, it shows the sacrifices artists and people have to make to bring something new into the world. But tying the two timelines together is black queer feminist writer G.K. Marche. Alex Givens plays Stokes and says one poem prompts people to ponder in the play. It says, I write these numbers down, but I don't have the answers. This is for you as you go out into the world to find the answers of how to catch creation. And one thing that I love about that line, every time I read it or hear it, is that Christina, in the, throughout the play, actually gives us some, some of those answers. This is a message that they believe can translate to Rochester, too. Given says that cast members have been giving away tickets to anyone that they meet, saying it's never too late for people to be creative. And they're showing up. Livia Pugh, who plays Tammy, says this. It's wonderful to hear two black men sitting on a, a bench with a book, but they're talking about things that are um, create, creative and things that, we, that affect us in society. And it's just, I hope that this play can bring together the community of Rochester to see that we have things that are more in common than different. Reporting in Rochester, Dan Gross, News 8.